run away! Retreat! I said retreat! Ting is for the weak! Attack! Attack! It's been four years since we've had a brand new hero in Clash of Clans. She's fierce. She's fearless. She totally kicks we knew that we wanted to make a new hero for the Town Hall 13 update, and there's only one name that comes to mind. The Royal Champion. Royal Champion! Royal Champion. Creating this hero has been, it's a, already a bit of a journey, because the original concept was created over a year ago, and back then we thought that we, it would be really interesting to have a character that would be shorter range than Archer Queen, uh, but not a melee character, like a pure close-range melee character. And we originally envisioned the character that attacks with a spear and has kind of can hit over walls, uh, hit buildings that are next to walls over the wall. As we got closer to the release of the Town Hall 13 update, it felt more appropriate to re-theme the design around a more wintry palette since the update was coming in December. To understand the Royal Champion, we have to go back a year ago. Back when I was on the team and we were sitting in a meeting room, all of us, all of the Clash team, and we're talking about Town Hall 13. And the idea of this hero comes up. And immediately, I'm thinking, ooh, a new hero, that's awesome. So I immediately stopped paying attention to whatever we're talking about, like every good artist, and start scribbling in my notepad and one of the things we came up with was this idea of a Valkyrie Queen. One of the design inspirations was actually not Captain America, it was actually Xena, Warrior Princess, and the Wakanda Warriors. So I drew her with a long spear and this fur coat and uh, like metal plates, and it's sitting on this little notepad, and I'm showing it to the other artists, like, hey, what do you think? And we're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think there's something here. So after the meeting, I go back to my computer and we start sketching it out more and I'm thinking of how we can integrate these design elements. So I've got these triangles and uh, we've got the spear and it's all these, you know, piercing elements. So I, I, I drew a lot of triangular elements on the character so that she felt consistent in her design. She started becoming less of a Valkyrie queen and sort of her own thing. And that's when we, this idea of this Amazon came into my head. and. You know, we're thinking of maybe the town hall could be this jungle theme and then she would fit into this jungle area. When we design new content, we actually do a lot of internal play testing on the Clash team to get a general feel of whether we like a new concept or not. During the development of Town Hall 13, there have been quite a few new troop ideas that we felt seemed really good on paper, but once we put them into an early development build of the game, those ideas or the utility or mechanics of those new troop ideas simply didn't work the way we thought. Uh, so in the end, they were scrapped. However, with the Royal Champion, we went through a few design iterations before, as a team, we were completely happy with her. We actually had some of Sip's early concept sketches to work with, so we kind of knew very early on what her special attacks would be, uh, what her special ability would be, and so it in the end, it just came down to making sure it was balanced in the game. But after a while, I, I actually left the team, and afterwards, I come back, and I see that it's evolved from where it was into this winter landscape, or winter-themed town hall. And so, her design had to change a bit, because before she was all in brown and she fit more into the jungle theme, so we shifted her colors over to this blue element, gave her some uh, longer pants, and that's how she ended up being in the final result. So sort of a core philosophy for us is that we try to make things as simple as we can while still having sufficient depth so that you can actually have different strategies and you can use the same troop or hero in different ways in the game. And with the Royal Champion, we one of the differentiating factors was the short attack range, so that she's slightly different than the Queen. But then the uh, hero ability, the Seeking Shield, I think that was one of the things that we really liked early on. Uh, it was a very simple concept. You press a button and then 
hero throws her shield and takes out a bunch of a bunch of buildings. Every single person, whether you're a designer, programmer, or a community manager, has a say in the name. So it's a fairly democratic process, but finding a name that everybody on the team agrees with has led to some long debates, some good ideas, and some really, really bad ones, which is why I'm not allowed to name things very often. But we like the idea that she is the commander of the royal armies in Clash. We didn't want to give her a title like queen or princess because there's already one queen, the archer queen, and we didn't want people to think the royal champion is the archer queen's daughter if we called her princess. Plus, there's already a princess in Clash Royale, and the royal champion is something completely brand new. The, this bit in the name where the royal is sort of a tie-in to king and queen, so we have this royal heroes. She's not a royal herself, but she's one of that part of that group, sort of a, like you could just almost say, a bodyguard for the royal heroes. The royal champion was a culmination of a lot of people's work. You know, I may have originally concepted the idea, but it's evolved and gotten better through each artist it's been through. And with the help of everyone on the Clash team, a lot of design influences, a lot of look influences, I think we ended up with a really cool character. And so yeah, we are super happy that it's been a year in the making, we can finally release her. I'm just really looking forward to seeing what you can do with the new hero once people kind of have some more time to put together different different ways of attacking with her. That gets me very excited and I'm looking forward to that a lot. We're super happy to have a new addition to the roster of heroes in Clash of Clans. The Royal Champion is something completely new and is only available once you upgrade to Town Hall 13.